The Volkswagen ID4 pros and cons in just five minutes. The ID4 is one of the most popular electric cars out there, with over 100,000 sold just in the first half of this year, and a worthy competitor to the best selling EV in the world, the Tesla Model Y. The ID4 was my personal car for two years before I left the US to live in Southeast Asia, but as you probably know, we've had some issues. More on that later. The ID4 is a winner of many awards from NHTSA and IIHS to Motor Week and Car and Driver, including the 2021 World Car of the Year title. The EBA range spans from 209 to 275 miles, depending on the trim, and the 0 to 60 time is 5.7 seconds. It also is, in my opinion, one of the better looking crossovers out there from all angles. Let's start with the pro number one, and anybody who loves a bargain will love the ID4's price. Including the destination fee, it starts at around 40 grand and is qualified for the $7,500 tax credit in the US. So if you are qualified as a buyer, your starting price goes down closer to 30 grand. If you're not qualified, well, there is a loophole to still get the $7,500 discount through a lease. You're welcome. There are only two other electric crossovers that start lower than the ID4, and they are the Hyundai Kona EV and the Chevy Bolt. Con number one is the reason why I returned my ID4 one year early, and I have made numerous videos about the issues that I've had with it. By going public with these issues, I have forfeited tens of thousands of dollars in potential sponsorship money from Volkswagen, as they were sponsors of this channel channel at some point. All of my issues have come down to Volkswagen's software and the fact that the first software update was not made available until a year and a half into my ownership and yet, when finally installed, solved very few of them. From issues with Bluetooth and the phone connections all the way to cars shutting down and needing urgent repairs on multiple occasions. My Volkswagen ID4 owner community on Facebook with over 20,000 members has also confirmed confirmed through a poll that I was not the only one with these type of issues and yet Volkswagen has abandoned all of us. To be fair, it does appear that the newer models don't have as many of the issues that I have experienced. All right, before I'll need my high blood pressure medication, uh, reliving those wonderful memories, let's move on to the pro number two, and that is the free unlimited fast charging at the Electrify America. It is definitely a perk I have enjoyed the hell out of. Each session, however, is now limited to 30 minutes. The con number two, is also charging. Now you're probably wondering, well, how can charging be a pro and a con? Well, I'll tell you in just a second, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Neo Charge. Itching to buy another electric car but don't want to deal with paying an electrician to rewire your home for that second charger? Well, check out the Dual Car Smart Splitter from Neo Charge. Get one today and use the discount code in the description of this video. So, even though you get three years of free charging at Electrify America with your ID4, when you actually get there to the charger, you realize how slow your car actually charges. With max rate of just 170 kilowatts, the ID4 charges from 10 to 80 percent in as long as 36 minutes. The pro number three is not something that can be measured with numbers, but anyone who has ever ridden in the ID4 can definitely vouch for the excellent and smooth ride quality. The car is built well, the noise isolation is great, and so is the vibration control. It's like you're driving in butter. Smooth. And the last con, number three, is the fact that even though there is no engine up front, the ID4 does not have the frunk, the front trunk. Most other EVs do, and a lot of people love it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the ID4's biggest competitor and the industry leader is the Tesla Model Y. How does the ID4 compare to it? Well, I made another five minute comparison video between the two, and you can check it out right here. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time, and remember to stay charged.